Now, what are the odds of finding a needle in a haystack <laughs> for one family in Evergreen higher than you might think? They recently lost a pendant at a golf course that had sentimental value. They didn't think it could be recovered, but, you know, ask the community to keep an eye peeled just in case. Well, Sean Chitness met the family and the people who found that pendant. And it made it. She passed away, and it's pretty much like a little bit of her. Not only a memory for a pet, a gift from a woman that was like a grandmother. When she passed, he put it on, and he hasn't taken it off since. But one evening, Jack Berendis and his mom were playing catch. And when he got home, the pendant was missing. I heard him just gasp, and he said, oh, my gosh, the pendant's gone. So they searched that night and again the next morning. Jack's mom also put out the word on Facebook. I was just amazed that a total stranger would be interested in helping. Penny Mapp saw that post. The minute I saw it, I knew I wanted to do something. They organized a new search the night after it went missing. Jack remained optimistic that it would be found. Barely any daylight left, that new search party started looking for an hour. I just really wanted to find it. Part of the challenge of finding such a small item in such a large space is that lost in all this green, were other shiny objects that weren't the pendant. I really didn't have any hopes of finding it. A friend of Penny's came along for the search, seeing mostly trash and other items on the ground. When I finally did come upon it, it was a shock. A needle in a haystack or a pendant in this golf course found. We all cried. <laughs> because it was such a feeling of relief and amazement. An amazing story for all to remember and a valuable lesson to share. Just the little things that you think won't matter really, really do. I still like feel a part of Nana and I enjoy that. Reporting in Evergreen, Sean Chitness, covering Colorado First.